everybody. I feel like I'm out of frame. There, there. <laughs> Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. It is your girl, Angie. Let's jump right into the challenge. First off, I'm going to try to put this up before 6 p.m. tonight. 6 p.m. tonight on Kiss My Cheeks TV. We are going live to do our fantasy team updates and kind of review the past four episodes. Myself, Charles Warren, and Drew with Angel Cake, Angel Cake Entertainment. I don't know why that's a tongue twister for me. But anyway, we're going live tonight at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, tonight. So I said, let me do my challenge review and get this review out the way before we talk, do a deep dive with our fantasy teams. <sighs> Y'all know I got to sew in. Um, <laughs> I, I just wasn't excited. I feel like the past few episodes is nothing but a setup for what they're going to do to Teresa next week. Like within the first few minutes of this episode, when Cam and Leroy were talking, I already knew how it's going to go down. I feel like this season is turning into a storyboard instead of a reality TV competition show. I feel like, yeah, it's a competition and we're letting it play out, but I feel like production has a way they want the story to go. This Teresa thing that Leroy and Cam is caught up into... Please, Teresa, get a goal score or go home. I wish it would have been a girl's elimination this week. I really do. Because this storyline is tired, hypocritical, and it gets on my last nerve because I love Cam and Leroy. But let's jump right into it. You know, the beginning of the episode, everybody coming in, who got their goal score last week? Leroy. Everybody bigging him up. Did Leroy get it? <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't even remember. I remember Cam and Leroy kissing in the mouth, having a great hug. I think Leroy got it. And so Nani comes in and hugs Leroy for about two to three seconds too long for me. Just for me. <laughs> I got a little touch of like, uh-uh, why are you hugging my man? You ain't got to do nothing but say congratulations. He don't need all that. Everybody got something. But anyway... <laughs> I noticed that, and then they have this conversation about how they hope it's a girl's elimination. They want to throw in Teresa against a strong competitor, either Lolo or KC, help KC get her goal score. If you really want to help KC get her goal score, I wouldn't put her in against Teresa. Like, that's not a guaranteed goal score for KC. Teresa ain't no punk. <sighs> But as soon as they said that, I was like, okay, womp womp. It's everybody is still against Teresa. Nam and Lolo in the house argue, fussing, and fighting about nothing. Like, the way they were giving Lolo and Nam the airtime this week, I really thought it was about to go down. And I was about to get a gold skull out of Miss Lolo. But, oh, no, it was just a, bunch, a waste of airtime. Like, what they were doing this week added no value to the story for me. So, let's hurry up and fast forward through it. Matter of fact, let's just go straight to the challenge. Like, I didn't take no notes because I'm going to get my notes together for the live tonight. And I just really didn't feel like it was too much to get hype about to go back and rewatch it and take notes. So, let's jump right to the challenge. It was a good one. It's a big man-made puddle of dirt and water, a relic is hidden in there, five people at a time, a headbanger, I love a good headbanger. You gotta find the relic, run it over to the finish line. You can snatch, fight, do whatever you wanna do, get the relic, whoever comes out with it wins. Four heats, two for girls, two for guys. And the first heat, I ain't gonna try to remember everybody's name, but I'm gonna tell you who was important. The first heat I felt like had a disadvantage because they were the ones who had to even figure out what the relic looked like, what it was. Was it an old skull? Was it one of them flip a X's up? You know, we saw what it was. I ain't going to try to describe it. I believe Nani was the one who found it first. Because at first, they were picking up rocks and just throwing them. I'm like, somebody find the damn thing. Nani 
has no strategy to her. She picks it up. It's like, yeah, guys, they got the relic. Come tackle me. <laughs> like, she didn't even try to run with it. I think Lolo snatched it from her. They all ganged up on Lolo and took it from her. I think Nani took it back. And then, Anissa, you did choke Lolo, but I wasn't mad. It's part of the game. It ain't like she was like, Ugh, like choked you out. She kind of was like, come on, sit your ass down. You ain't about to win, girl. And Cam, I think Nani accidentally, or was it, <laughs> tossed it to Cam and, and Cam won. Okay, Cam wins, Heat won. Heat won to me was the most exciting because they really were the only ones that really fought for it. Now, Heat 2 is up, and all I could say was, Fessy, were you on the offense or the defense when you was playing D1? Because, you know, if you were on the defense, why would you ever leave your zone? Why would you ever leave your zone and miss that tackle? So everyone is kind of like, okay, we're going to fill around for the relic, and we ain't going to do the 90. We're not going to tell nobody. Nam found it. Nam has the best poker face out of everybody he had the best poker face and he was like i'm just gonna push it close to the exit now fessy and josh had a good strategy like we're gonna guard both exits on both sides so can't nobody get past us but for whatever reason fessy left his zone had to be on the offense had to be <laughs> he left his zone Nam was like clear shot he hurtled that water and he was out fessy missed that Tackle was like, no. <laughs> it went in slow motion. I laughed at his ass. And I don't know why I like Fessy, but <laughs> I laughed at him. And now I'm one. Congratulations. Now, <laughs> the strange part, <laughs> Lolo is a mess. I forgot to go over that whole blow up of Lolo and Anissa choking her out. And I, I don't care. Lolo is a part of the game. I don't even want to spend too much energy on that. It really pissed me off, and I wish I would have hit the fast forward. But what was funny to me is, Lolo, your partner just won. So you know you at least in it a little bit. But Lolo had no fucks on her face. Matter of fact, she looked mad and jealous that Nam won. <sighs> why did I pick Lolo? I don't know. I don't know why I picked Lolo to be on my fantasy team. I like the drama, but it's... Sometimes it's, it's team too much. Up next, another girl's round. What happened in this? Oh, Teresa found the relic. This is the one with Teresa, Gabby, with Big T, and I don't know who was in it. But um, Teresa found it, and Teresa has no poker face. Like, as soon as I saw her in the water smiling, I'm like, Teresa has it. Um, <laughs> Anissa was in the background, like, Teresa has it. I guess she's not a Teresa hater because I'm surprised she didn't yell out, look at Teresa's face. But eventually people caught on that Teresa had it. They tackled her down. Gabby was the one who got it. I don't remember that whole get down, but go Gabby girl, you want something. Last and definitely not least was the round with, I think, Leroy... CT, a couple of other people, like I said, and Michi, I didn't write no notes. CT finds the relic, and it's under his feet, and he's kicking it. Clearly, when I see CT standing up, and everyone else is on their hands and knees searching, I'm like, CT has it. And everyone is yelling, look at CT, he has it. It has to be by his feet. And then Leapray goes to check his feet, and it's still not there. <laughs> So, obviously, either CT was kicking it way far ahead of Leroy, which I don't know why he would do that because other people are still looking, or Leroy really didn't check around CT's feet, or Leroy felt it and was like, I'm going to let CT live. I already got my goals score. I don't care. I don't know. I thought the plan was to ice CT out. And not let him ever go into elimination and win one. I think they're doing the same thing with Lolo. I wish they would have people talk about this more. Because I just, from the beginning of the game, I said that was the best strategy. Are they doing this to Darrell too? Because <laughs> it's a lot of people that should have their goals go. Anyway, CT wins. Point blank into the period. 
let's move it along. So round two, Cam versus Gabby, CT versus Nam. Cam, I don't like the, because I'm the underdog lover. Like I want to root for the underdog. And like Gabby just pretty much was licking Cam's ass the entire time. I got to go up against the killer? Cam? I mean, I'm a trainer, but what can I really do? And, and Gabby gave it a good fight. Oh, Cam is the greatest. I got to go up. I was like, come on, girl. Were you trying to win? I don't know. It's, it's something about it. Like, yes, Killer Cam, props. But why are you bigging her head up before you even get into the water again? It was like, at least be like, I got this. And Cam ain't nobody. I'm a trainer. And, you know, then after you lose, be like, oh, lost the killer camp. You know, it's kind of like you bigging her up before you even get down there. <sighs> CT and Nam was a great back and forth. I really didn't know who was going to get it. CT is older, but he's still a beast. Nam couldn't take it. I don't think Nam is as physical as he thought it would be. CT wins. So now here's the twist of all twists. Now, CT says, round three, get your partners. Cam, you got to go against Big T. CT, you go against Kyle. You both got to win a round. It can't be no ties. Y'all going to keep going until both of y'all win a round. <laughs> CT was like, this some bullshit. We already know Big T ain't winning shit, so... CT was pissed. It was written all over his face. He was like, why are we even getting back in this cold ass water? Big T isn't going to be camp on a period. You know, I laughed at my TV. He was like, I really do regret not picking Cam as my partner. I'm so happy you have no regret, CT. <sighs> Big T didn't even try. And I feel like Kyle won it only because CT tossed it to you. He probably was like, I ain't got time to be out here getting frostbite, going to the emergency room, fooling around with Kyle when we know Big T isn't going to win around. And I felt like that wasn't fair. I feel like what pissed me off the most, the utmost, you know, I like to go on Twitter and I probably, it was shit. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have tweeted what I tweeted. I might delete it later. I don't know. But... <laughs> Somebody was all on Twitter talking about hell, Queen Cam, not Cam, but Queen Big T. Big T is the queen. I'm like, what is Big T the queen of losing? Not being able to match her concealer. Big T's highlight under her eyes is so off-putting to me. And that's, I'm just a makeup girl. That ain't got shit to do with the challenge. But her blend under her eyes, one, your highlight starts all the way down here at your contour and comes all the way up. It's at least 10 shades too light. It looks like you have on my shade of concealer. Well, your highlight is supposed to be a little bit lighter, but not 10 shades too light. And then you don't blend. It's not blended. It's just triangled on your face and it sits. And the light beats off of it. And you look a hot ass mess in all these confessionals, Big T. Please, somebody show her this segment of <laughs> this review. And get your beat together, girl. Don't come on next season with the highlighter under your eyes looking like that. But yes, that was shady. I ain't have to say all that on Twitter. But I hope she see it. Because she needs to know. Some Your friends, your friend, you ain't got no friends, girl. Because they would have told you. Nobody behind the scenes at MTV gave you a little beauty blender and said, go ahead and blend that out, girl. I'm just trying to be the one to tell you if you're going to be on national television. I don't like how the layup of all layups is getting the edit of like she's doing something major on this challenge when she's not doing anything. She's like the female version of Josh that doesn't get on your last nerve. But Big T gets on my last nerve. Like, I couldn't be in the house with Big T. That bullshit would get on my last nerve. But let's move on from her. I don't want to give her too much. Because, as you can see, she's done nothing. 
the one challenge she won and everybody went all up for Big T. Hell, Big T, she running this. The one challenge she won was only because CT held on to her ass. And I felt like production gave that to them. But Angie, move all the way on. All the way on. Congrats, Cam and Kyle. So now let's get to this house vote. The most, <laughs> the most exciting thing. Okay, let's look into a little bit of strategy. Kyle wants revenge. He's like, fuck Fessy, fuck Anissa. I want them in and I'm going to put them in against Josh and Nani. Why? <laughs> Josh is not about to take out Fessy. And all you're going to do is piss off Fessy by throwing him in against anybody. <sighs> but to me, Kyle's idea was way more exciting than what Cam came up with, which is put in the perceived, which they probably are the weakest two people in the house, Michi and Amber M., and let Nani and Josh get their gold skulls so they can owe you a favor. How are they going to repay this favor when Nani and Josh have never been anywhere close to winning a daily challenge? So how are they going to repay you a favor? How are they going to keep you out of something that they're never going to have the opportunity to get in and have the power structure? I wouldn't give a damn about Nani and Josh. If you wanted a favor... If you wanted a favor, you should have found a way to hook up two people that actually have an opportunity of winning something. Now, the one good, let's go ahead and get through the fluff so this could be quick. Um, the house ended up, it was funny. <laughs> Amber M and Michi was like, well, we, you know, we think we don't want to go in this week. We ain't ready. And CTM and them was like, um... That's how we doing this. And Leroy was like, okay, well, I don't want to go in either. <laughs> the most exciting thing was when Cam and Kyle got to see their chamber and whatever, you know, the background information. The production said, we ain't going to show it to the audience this week. And that for a second made me think, well, like, damn, did the house... Pull it off that they really put Anissa and Fessy down there. But womp womp, y'all could have shown. And then they done told Cam and Kyle to act super surprised, like, oh, I can't believe. Like, bitch, that's Amber and Michi. Y'all was really that surprised to see Amber and Michi pop up on that screen. Overproduced. The show is overproduced. It's not natural anymore. <sighs> Let's move on. Let's, cause I, I don't want to harp on it too long. So we get to the crater and voila, it's Amber and Michi. Who cares? Josh versus, well, Josh and Nani. It's a guy's elimination week. I feel like either way, if it would have been a girl's elimination week, Nani would have got her skull. If it would have been a guy's, Josh got his skull. Barely. Barely. I believe they put that puzzle in there to help Josh. <laughs> Because if Michi, if it would have been no puzzle and it would have been like Anissa and Tori, Michi would have threw them balls and beat Josh. And it would have been a win-win either way because I feel like whoever would have got their gold skull, they're going to be the first one to get their gold skull stolen, Michi or Josh. Josh acted like he just finished a hall brawl against Corey or somebody the way he was like yes look at my chest i won yeah fuck you guys i'm like you bear josh you look like the biggest fool i ain't even gonna read you i'm not even gonna read you because what you did on television was read enough it ain't nothing i could say that can hurt you and read you down more than your performance <laughs> that performance was read enough like and I feel like the line, I want to go back and watch Teresa versus Tori because I feel like the line that they had for you to toss the ball was a lot closer than what Teresa and Tori, Anissa and Tori had to do. It was like the line was here. Josh, you're standing there and you still couldn't throw the ball and break one out. It was, we're going to move on from that. Another thing, Josh in the background crying, talking about, I really could use this money and give my parents the life they deserve because they came over here from 
Cuba and they deserve so much. And I'm like, bitch, didn't you just get $500,000 from Big Brother? What you do with that money? Why you ain't help your parents out with that? How much fucking help they need? I can't stand his ass. I can't stand his ass. Let's go ahead and get in the comments and tell me what you all think. Like I said, we're going to dig into this a lot deeper tonight. When I get with Charles and when I get with Drew, we're going to go over the past four episodes. We're going to talk about our fantasy teams. Again, throw my team in the trash. <laughs> I think these past four weeks, I haven't got one goal goal, and many people for my teams have went home. It is what it is, but all we need is one person. All I need is to have that one winner. It don't matter what Charles and Drew got on their team. All I have to have is the winning person. So it ain't over. But, yeah, my team can still go in the trash. All right, y'all. Like, comment, share. Y'all get in the comments and read Josh a little bit. I want to laugh in the comments. And I will see you all tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time. And if not on the live, I'll catch y'all next week. Bye.